back. So the sound that you hear is water here below me in the sink. I have my water bottle and I'm going to put conditioner in it. So what's in here I'm going to pour out. Okay, it's gone. I'm doing warm water. There we go. I'm going to rinse out this here container and I'm going to put completely fresh water. Now, I got this much in, but I need to clean out my spray bottle as well. So, I'm spraying water from the pipe to get that cleaned out good. Here we go. Pour that out. Now, I'm going to pour water, some pretty warm water in. It's okay. It's not going to hurt your doll or her hair. So, my container, I fill it all the way up to right there. I keep enough space in. Now, I'm going to use... I'm going to use this Pantene conditioner. This one is called Smooth Conditioner Tames Frizz and for a sleek style. So basically Pantene, you know, just sort of looks. So let's have little worms, white worms in the water, see? Does not take a lot. Let you get a look. That's how the Pantene looks and it rises. It's probably going to take a minute if anyone even gets to come on. But nevertheless, the video will be here. This is not my first time doing this video. Um, I've done it before, but people are still asking me about this. And so I now guess I'm having to simply go over and take my old videos and make them new again by making new versions. Because the people who watched them before, from it being probably six, seven years ago, have gone out of them, and other people are now into them. So this is the nice size. You see the size. So I have my Pantene conditioner mixed in with the warm water. Hello, Dolls Face Studios. I oh, like the name. That's cool. So... back in my room so I have my water I'm going to show you oh my gosh I don't know what that was that fell down all right all right here we go we're getting all set up you got to get comfortable when it comes to doing this okay so you want to get glamorous American Girl doll hair now granted the dolls that I'm using these particular two do not have the original American Girl doll wigs but don't worry, you can use the same solution on your American Girl dolls to keep their wigs nice and pretty, and you can also curl them. But it starts with a nice warm spray bottle. I put a little conditioner to soften it to keep it from tangling. And I also use this wig spray. A little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a lot, just a very little, okay? That's all you need. Um, I'm going to start with her. The, the doll that's showing in the picture of the video. This is one I gave her new hair. Um, back when I got her, I think I did a video on that. Okay, she has a good um, hair tie, I think. I'm just going to pull it right on out. See, it slid right out. I'm making sure it's still elastic because I buy the goodies. And these, look at that, they all break. That's what I don't like. They all break off like this. Hi, Riley. Oh, I love the cheer dolls. I have not seen them yet. I haven't seen them yet. Um, so I'm getting ready to work on this doll's hair and I'm gonna do some spray to it and everything and show you all how to work with this. Now, Again, everything I'm about to do to her hair, you can do it to your original American Girl doll wig, okay? So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the same type of fiber. This is synthetic hair extensions that I got and bonded, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this. 
Um, if you missed the very beginning of the video, that's fine. It will get published. So you will be able to watch it from the beginning from its entirely later on. Okay. So here are my goodie bands. I actually got the brand goodie because they're the best. The other ones break so, so easily. Okay. Oh my gosh. Where is, where is my moderator? I guess hopefully she'll be on shortly. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking of a hairstyle. I think I'm going to do something, maybe a similar slight little braid, but then I didn't. I wanted to do a braid because I didn't want to get the waves. Hi, Nadra. Girl, it's been a minute since I've seen you and heard from you. So we've made a new batch. Two of each doll series. Not quite. Um, I only have series one and two. Um, and I don't have the cheerleaders. They're not at my Walmart. The cheerleader dolls of Rainbow High are not at my Walmart. But anyway, right now... Let's focus. I just did a video where we had free chat to talk about all of that. So right now I want to focus on how to keep your doll's hair nice and pretty. So I'm lowering my camera to focus on the doll, okay? So I'm going to wet her hair with a little warm water. It's got Pantene Smoothing Conditioner. I'm covering her ends. Um, one thing I like about this, it, it leaves a nice coating on the doll, um, her hair to keep it nice and smooth and easy and manageable to style. Dixie, what are you doing behind me? See? Now, this will work for your original American Girl doll's wig. Same product, same thing. It will get the tangles out, a little water and conditioner. If you play with her hair a lot and put a lot of stuff in it, you will need to shampoo it. This is my wig spray I use to keep my doll's hair fabulous. I spray it into the brush. Yeah, and I start midway to the end. What am I doing for Christmas? Um, well, we have a curfew here all the way through the new year in North Carolina. I'm sure it's all over the news how bad things are here in North Carolina. Um, I'm staying in the house. This works for curly wigs as well. You just have to do a little bit differently. I'm doing her hair in sections. So this front section here is done. Now I'm going to the middle back half section right here. So all of this hair here is going to go over there. I'm pushing her head, and I have this hair. Now, I'm going to spray my um, conditioning water spray on her hair. Again, I use Pantene because it coats it. It has like a wax coating that's made into it. Oh, wow. That's, oh, doll space. You're in North Carolina, too? What part of North Carolina, what city, if you don't mind me asking? I'm going to take the wig spray and do one here. I, I know well I, I I always feel really privileged and honored when I have a subscriber of your that's right here in North Carolina with me that's right Charlotte now are you the same person that was on the other night that's from Charlotte last night because if you're not then I have two people from Charlotte I'm in Durham so we're three hours apart you are near the American is the American girl store still in Charlotte is it still there has it closed? That's, um, I am curious to know that. Okay, so see, I've added wig spray after the conditioning spray. So you see how nice and silky this is? Yeah. It'll do the same thing for any of your American Girl dog with long hair. I wasn't on last night, so it's really... Okay, so yeah, I have two people from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful to have, you know, people here in my neighborhood, in my state who are basically neighbors with me, I mean, within hours of me, who are dog collectors as well. Oh, you have one in LA? Yes, Nidra, I heard about California as well. 
California, North Carolina, it, it's really getting bad. It really is. So uh, this is why uh, I try to come on and do videos with dog related for all of the dog collectors or really for everyone and anyone. You know, you don't have to be a dog collector to come in and, you know, enjoy the my videos or watch what I do. We all need a distraction from the reality of what we're living right now all over the world. Now, as you can, this is a real American girl doll. This is number 79. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I showed how I did the mixture. And, um, and basically, this is what they do at American Girl. Yeah, that water they're spraying, it has something special in it. It's mixed with um, wig spray and a little conditioner to make it smooth so that they're able to get those knots combed out of your doll's hair. So I spray it twice in while the hair is still wet. Gently, not all the way, but then I go deeper into the hair, going to the end, and then I start at the top, and then I go underneath at the bottom, so that the wig spray is diluted, but spreads evenly with the conditioned wet hair. There we go. Perfection. See? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Um... I, I like her hair loose. I mean, I can lift it up. See, that's what I like about the hair I use. See, but I can't get this color anymore. See that I can part it in any direction that I want. Um, this particular doll, I have her hair parted to the side. She is like my homemade Kanani doll I did. The best way to do a video like this, really, is to just get somewhere, get comfortable with some good lighting, and look at that. Now, you can do this with an original American Girl doll wig. Same thing, same results. I have a um, Marie Grace. I will show you how to do this on. So, I have three dolls. I will do this on two. I gave them the hair that I use, which is ultra thick. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful hair. It's all about the hair play. Well, not always. American Girl is like a way of life. You know, it's more than, it's not just a doll. It's an heirloom. It's, it's something to have pride in, something to love and cherish for many years. American Girl is a lifestyle, period. It really is. I mean, you can get other dolls if you want to, but, you know, I, I really love and enjoy my American Girl dolls. But I love all my dolls. I really do. But I don't know. Um, with the Girl of the Year coming out soon, you know, I always really get more interested in my American Girls. So look at that. I'm twisting. See how this is twisting it like that? And I'm pulling it around to the back like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to part her hair. Wait, let me do the camera like this. Okay, well, this. So I'm going to part her hair here all the way in the back. Okay, I'm going to throw that over. So you can see, I'm pulling all of that over. Okay, there we go. So even the back, all of this is up because I'm going to connect this hair piece right here underneath all of that other hair. Wait, let me make sure that's going to look right. Yeah, it is. Um, actually, I'm going to put some of that down. Yeah, some of that will go down and then it goes into the back. Back here, yeah. All right, let me put her down like this. Y'all give me a minute. I can give you a shout out. I'm going to pull this hair up. And I'm going to pull some hair from right here. And put it into a ponytail, basically. But this could be hidden. So I can give her the hairstyle that I'm trying to get.
the reason I try not to do a lot of braids is because braids will crinkle your doll's wig fiber and hair fiber and give it that crinkle wave. Now, if you don't mind having that look, that's cool. Oh, thank you, David. Merry Christmas to you, too. Don't worry, everyone. This here is a published video on how about doing the doll's hair. Um, I'm restyling hers. There, see? Her hair looks like this. It's twisted comes around here, and then it's covered up by the other hair on the top and back. So, see? Very pretty, very sweet and pretty. And this hairstyle can go with any outfit. So, that's the best part about it. And it's been a minute since I've done an American Girl doll hair tutorial. Isn't that a pretty color? So now you can see what I did. I poured it back, did the ponytail here, and then let this hair drop over the top of it so you really don't notice it. And it goes in the back. And I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna leave this side out. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm gonna take this side and I'm actually going to leave a piece out. I'm going to leave this piece out right there and I'm going to take this much hair. Now this is a good way to take your used American Girl dolls from eBay or maybe one that's been passed down from you. And you can make her new again. So that's another thing you can do too as well. To create, take an older doll and make her new again. On the secondary market. So for those of you who aren't able to get a new doll. I'm hoping everyone I get a um, notification, everyone else, I get the notification, but they might not because the other video is it's showing where it's still uploading because I'm using a different um, platform at this moment. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. Lift this hair up. Move it over to the side. I'm going to pull it over there. Oh my gosh, it doesn't want to say I made it too silky. Okay, let's get the hair. I want to put like a little ponytail. There we go. That'll work. Alright, I'm twisting this. I know I'm doing a hairstyling video on how to keep your American Girl doll's hair silky. And to do nice hairstyles that won't damage a doll's hair. And hairstyles that will look good in whatever outfit you put on your doll. It's definitely been some time since I did a hair video. Don't worry. As you do this, the hair is going to be sliding out of place. That's okay. See? All right, I'm going to lay her down. Now, you see here is where the hair is gathered. Watch. There. I just pull it. It tightens it up. Puts it in place. There. When I flip her over, look. She has a nice twist on both sides, and it goes, and it's like a ponytail here that's hidden underneath this hair. And then it overtops the end, so you don't see it just blends right into her hair. Um, and I decided to leave her um, one cute band of hair to just sort of hang down the front side like that. You know, like a, isn't that cute? 
I think so. There. So now she's finished. Now this is a um, American Girl Truly Me number 79. Yes, I did customize her. She was the first one I bought a long time ago. I made her dress. I did repaint her. I did give her new hair because she had a short bob. And I love long hair on my dolls. But this doll's hair has now been treated with my solution that I've made. I'm pretty sure American Girl has taken design tips from me. I, but it's okay. You know? American Girl knows what they're doing. They have some amazing designers. They have an incredible staff. And they're constantly trying to create what they can, what's best for American Girl Dog Collectors of all ages. So here she is with the new hairstyle and design. Ta-da! Okay, next we have my custom Mini-Me. That's right. I'm going to set her over here. Right. I wish I had went ahead and put my Marie Grace with her original wig up here. So I can show you how to work on your original American Girl Doll wig's hair. So, as you can see, this is beautiful, beautiful black hair. This doll, I repainted live on Instagram to look like me. See? Oh, my gosh. Do we look like sisters? <laughs> so, yeah. Here, here's a close-up. All right. So, with her, I'm only going to do her hair a certain way. First, here's my mixture. Fresh brewed. Yes, it's a brew. No, this is Marie Grace. I didn't have to swap her eyes. Marie Grace, these are her natural eyes. All I did was repaint her. And from repainting her... It made her turquoise eyes pop, and with the black hair. So with the black hair, Marie Grace face. See, we need more dolls with Marie Grace face. Marie Grace face mold is gorgeous. There, see? But yeah, I actually have this shirt in my size, and I love to wear jeans, and I have a hoodie similar. So yeah. I, I do. You know, I, I really miss... I wish Cecilia Marie Grace would come back. I did a video. Psst, Dixie, stop it. What are you doing? You're acting weird. Okay. So I'm having... I mix a little wig spray into that because that's what keeps the hair silky. The reason why I put a little water with the conditioner in it, it helps the wig spray spread evenly because you don't want it to build up. You don't want the wig spray to build up on your doll's hair because then it'll make it wear a tangle, get matted. That's what I mean. A little bit goes a long way. So you don't want to be using too much. You just need a little bit. Okay, so I'm flipping our hair over like this. Spraying. Now I'm taking my brush. Sweetie, that's why I call it Selena's Glamorous Doll House. I have been repainting American Girl dolls for ten and a half years. I started the trend of repainting dolls. Anyone can tell you that. Anyone. I'm the one who started that. Nobody did it before me. Okay, so this part of her hair is now finished. It's nice, super silky, and soft. Don't worry, I am going to do this on an original American Girl doll's wig. In the meantime, just for this one, right after this doll, I'm going to do it again with a different doll. So, I'm just providing you some entertainment. 
for some of you who have customized dolls or not. But this routine, it does, can, and will work with your American Girl doll and her original wig. Um, I do recommend putting a towel. You see, I'm holding my hand up to prevent water from touching my doll's face or skin. And then I'm rubbing the water and conditioner mixture into her hair. Um, I don't I don't know what the poopsie unicorns are. Is it that big one? You push her belly button and she does a weird dance. Okay, I put wig spray into here. Now I'm brushing it through, through the hair. Oh, you're rerouting. Okay. All right, we got the wig spray running all through our hair on this end. Cool. So it's nice and silky and detangled. Oh, cool. Yeah, I understand when editing. That's what I stopped. I used to edit. I used to only record videos, but now I do them live. Because I feel I like having a personal communication with my audience. And right now, with you know the global pandemic, it provides a distraction for doll collectors of all ages. Um, and gives you something entertaining and it's positive to watch. Okay. So now her hair is nice and done. See? Sleek and shiny. Now, I'm basically going to do her hair just like I did my number 79. Whom I call, I call her my little Kanani Jr. I call her Kanani number two. Oh, set the hair on my stool. I'll throw it away later. Um, this is not a wig. No, this doll I did with synthetic hair extensions, which I can't get anymore. Wait, I can get this color. So if someone wants to want me to do their doll, I could. This is not a wig. It is hair that is bonded onto our head. I've heard of f &B vintage dolls. I have um, that Stamp Girl doll. I had three of those. Actually, I had bought two from eBay. And when the person that I bought them from saw how I cleaned them up, re them and fixed them, they said they have one more. And since they saw I took care of it, they sent it to me for free. Look at that. See how nice that looks? No, honey, this is my work. This is not a wig. This is bonded synthetic hair extensions. And I have videos on how to do that. Go and check out my catalog of older videos. I have 500 videos on YouTube. Of all the years I've been doing this, yes. Let me think. I think maybe I should just do this here in a ponytail. Yeah, I think that look cuter. So I'm pulling a piece of hair, a little chunk like this from the back. Um, and I'm leaving what? I said Lux, I heard my cat. She's making weird noises behind me. Okay. So for her, I'm not going to twist it. I'm simply brushing her hair out. I thought I've got it nice and silky. And I'm going to pull it back into a ponytail. I'm using Goody Ouchless Hair Bands. They are the best, but I am telling you now... They, are, they do not last, possibly a couple months, but they do break all by themselves. They just, I don't know, disintegrate very quickly. 
they were definitely meant to use temporarily. Unfortunately, okay, I'm there. So there's our ponytail. I got all of this here pulled up, joined in the back with the Atlas pony. And that's how I'm going to do her hair. Sweet and simple. Um, so this that way this hairstyle can go with any outfit. Um, but also, I love the hair. So I'm showing off her hair at the same time. Must, oh man, she needs her ears pierced. Ta-da. Oh, thank you, Amber. This is this is my hair. This is the hair that I buy and use on the dolls. It's shown in my older doll videos. It looks it's very realistic. Looks, feels real, and everything. So this is my mini me. I took her down and redid her. So as you now, I'm going to actually. Oh, hi, Michael. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the Christmas wish. It's very sweet of you. American Girl, all I want from Christmas from you is Girl of the Year 2021 and her tin house. Can I please have one? Thank you. So, here's Marie Grace with her makeover to look like me. I think her face mold fits my chin area perfect. Well, it's manageable. It's um like a body wave curl, so it's not too much, not too little, perfect, super long length um, to really play with. So now I'm going to get a original, original Marie Grace with her original hair. And what I'm going to do is the same thing, but with Marie Grace's original wig, so you will know how you can take this, your doll, your original American Girl doll with her original wig and do the same thing. Oh, David, there you go. Where would you go back with it? What is that? Oh, it's my brush I left. Okay. Here she is. Now, this Marie Grace, I bought her off of eBay, okay? I did. I mean, I had plenty as it is already, but I wanted me another one so that I could customize. Um, I wanted to give her a platinum blonde wig. The only thing is, is that when I got her, I just love her so much, I couldn't. So I let her borrow one of my hair bands. All right, so as you see Marie Grace's hair, it, it's quite a bit shabby, but she still has her original curls that dangle right here and guess what I'm going to work with these first maybe I should do them probably last yeah first we'll go ahead and work on our hair so I'm going to tilt my camera okay I anyway um to give you an idea here's our hair yes it, it's it's quite messy it is quite messy it is messy look. I mean, you can barely see the little tangles, but hey, it, it's there. So I'm going to start it in sections first. And this here is water with panting smoothing conditioner, okay? So that way you know what I'm using in the doll's hair. Pantene smoothing conditioner. And I'm going to spray it on her head. Like, get it all up in there good. Doesn't matter if her wig cap gets wet. Don't wet your doll's face. It's very important. If you're not familiar with this, get a wet washcloth and put it against your doll's face so that you're holding. Or either get a uh, dishcloth, like a long dish rack, and wrap it around your doll or a towel so that way you don't 
get her wet. Me, I've been doing this so long. I'm not worried about it. I can do this. So I'm saturating her hair. This is her original wig, everyone, okay? This way you know that you can do this with your doll as well. I know. So Marie Grace and Cecile need to come back. Isabel. I think Isabel sells pretty cheaply on eBay. Okay. Wig spray, everyone. This is my wig spray. Oil-free wig spray. This is my brush. Remember I told you I hold the brush. I spray here and here. This part and this part of the brush. While the hair is wet, I gently start gently at the top. I'm not running it through yet, okay? Oh my. Maybe I should have... I Maybe I should have shampooed this stuff. Oh my God. Okay, I can't do this. That I I have to wash this. Uh, it looks might look good on him. What Isabella's going for three hundred? They couldn't get rid of that doll. I remember her being American Girl having like a special sale, and she was sixty five dollars. I'm gonna have to shampoo this stuff. Oh my god, it's it's a mess. Okay, it's got some kind of I don't know. I don't like it. So I'm going to take this with me and I'm going to show you how to shampoo your doll's hair. No, Dixie, you stay there because I don't need you bothering me. Okay, so we have Marie Grace. I didn't expect to do this. What was that? Sorry, Izzy fans. Take us to the bathroom, Michelle. Really, Isabel, I remember her. They they could wholly sell her. And she ended up being on Jill's deals for only $65. And then they had these special sets of her where you could have got the doll for like $95, the doll and her accessories. They had all kinds of really good deals on her. And so I ended up buying one for me and my friend Shirley for Christmas because they were such a good price. Okay, I'm going to read you my camera. I am going to set this down. I cannot read your comments because I'm going to wash her hair. Perfect. A little warm, a little cool. No, I don't care about wetting it because I want it to be cleaned. I'm sorry, but I do not like a doll with dirty hair. But then, like I said, I have two Marie Grace's still in the box, never opened. She was and is one of my favorites. And what I'm going to use is a clarifying type shampoo. By Suave. It's very inexpensive and it's affordable. So that's the per perfect thing about it. It's cheap. But it's clarifying. Clarifying shampoo. It removes residue off of hair fiber. So, yes, you can do this on your dog. Do not do downy dunks. I've seen them. That is not good for your dog. It makes the hair where it has a residue on it and it doesn't feel good. Oh, wow, look at all the suds. Yes. That's it. Make it nice and clean. Oh, it's squeaky. It's getting squeaky clean.
Okay. Now I'm gonna leave the water running so the suds can go down the drain. I'm gonna let the doll sit here like that. And I'm gonna use a second shampoo. I'm gonna use this Restoring by L'Oreal. A little bit goes a long way. That's all I'm going to use. So I'm washing it again because this is going to soften the hair fiber, the wig fiber up a little bit to make it a little more manageable. Oh yeah, that softens it up. First clarifying because that removes all the dirt, grime, stuff like that. Because you know, when you play with your dolls, you get oil from your hands, your fingertips onto the, the doll's wig. And that also changes the way it feels in the texture. But if your doll's hair gets at a point where it's matting, hard to brush, you have to clean it. Okay, I need them subs to go away. Maybe it'll go down faster, okay. I'm going to set her right there to the side to the sus and go down. And I'm going to grab some of the conditioner. I had the same conditioner. Super Detangling Conditioner by L'Oreal Dream Links. I have this much and what I'm going to do is spot it in different areas throughout our hair and now run it especially to the ends. That's why I leave it wet so the conditioner can blend all the way to the end so much more easily. Oh wow, that feels so much better. I'm using cooler water. I use a warmer, warmer water for shampooing our hair to really get any kind of residue that's in her wig out. This is a very thick towel. Okay, I'm wiping her face off first. And now I'm going to pull her hair gently and squeeze as much water out as possible. Now, again, this is her original wig. And it's very clean and it's beautiful and all set. So now we're going to make it even better. Just give me one moment. Ew, so Marie Grace, you got hair in the sink. My mama's going to have a fit. Okay. Now let's go back to my room. Okay. So, again, this is a Marie Grace. This is her original wig. And we just washed it. We gave her a good shampoo. First, a clarifying shampoo to remove any kind of residue from the wig. And now we're going to, um, oh wow, it feels so much better. Okay. So now I'm going to take sections and I'm going to brush it. Yeah. So with this angle, I'm changing my camera down. Oh, I missed some. Yeah, this is Caroline's dress. You did. Oh, honey, yes, you're gonna love Joss. Order Joss. You will like her to her for good. Oh, I can't believe Isabel's going for that. She finally went up in value. 
Wow, it's, I can't believe it's taken this many years for her to do that because, to be honest, usually American Girl would have a sale because they've never had this many Girl of the Year dolls ever in stock for purchase. Oh, let me turn my camera down so you can see. As you can see, I start with, I, I just start sort of midway. I work my way to the ends. Um, look how shiny and smooth it looks. See? You saw the shampoo I used and everything. Now I'm going to take my brush and I'm taking wig spray and spray it into the brush. And I'm going to start at the top and go down to the end. Now, this wig spray, it actually detangles it even more. Oh my gosh, yes. It makes it very super smooth, see? Now look. After a good shampoo and clarifying conditioner, then a nice detangling shampoo, and some nice little conditioner. Oh, look at her curls. They are so pretty. They're already trying to bounce back into place. Yeah, if you can restore your doll, get them used. You can get them used. Look at this. Look at that gorgeous hair. See, I, if I know I like a doll, I try to get her new. I don't know. But for Marie Grace, I was in the mood for another one. I actually bought this one originally to customize. I was going to customize this one. And I've had her probably since early this year maybe and no nope I've had her longer than early this year because it was before all of this started happening Glo this global stuff started happening it was before this so um yeah But um, I did get this particular Marie Grace off of eBay. I'm spraying wig spray in my brush. There we go. This wig spray, it makes it detangled. It makes it so silky. Oh. Okay, so right here was Marie Grace. I'm going to move my camera so you can see um, from this here side angle. And hope my camera doesn't fall. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, maybe I twisted it the wrong way. There. See her hair, her little, her little, um, oh my gosh, I forgot what they're called. Curl pins or something came back. Now the hair is super silky. All right, so I'm going to push this back up here where the lighting is really good and bring it back down. Pin curls, exactly. So I got a pin curl back original. It popped right back into place after all the washing. Ooh, her dress is getting wet. Okay, that hair got really, really seriously wet, but it looks so much better, much better. I'm just going to set her down. Put her leg under my leg like this so she can just be still. Here's my wig spray. Okay. I'm going to pull this hair over to the side. The other ends are wet. I do not. Oh, yes, I do have a towel. Yes, yes, yes. Because I don't want her getting wet. There we go. So I put a towel up all the way down like this. So I got her wet hair on it, so I need this to come down some more. So you can see her wet hair is on the towel. Um, the, the pin curls are super curly 
all of them again. That's what happens when you give her a good cleaning. The doll already gave the body a good cleaning. Okay, separating the hair. I'm going to try and brush this out. It's really hard to brush out, so I have to use a bit of my conditioning water. It has, it's warm water with Pantene. Yeah, I'm wetting it up. Now I'm going to have to take my wig spray. It's oil free. I spray it on my brush here and here. Okay, get our curls out the way. Start up here, work my way down. Okay, there we go. And I'm trying to let the camera focus on the doll, not me, because this is about showing you how to do your doll's hair. The um, artificial hair that may not be her original hair, and how to fix your original doll's American Girl doll wig. But the wig spray perform, it's just, it's just like, ugh, magic. What it does to these wigs is amazing. And if your doll's hair is like super, super frizz, you may have to have it steamed. Or basically while it's wet, use a very light flat iron. And I can actually show you how to do that. But first, let me go ahead and get her pin curls right. And make sure I got this hair right. Okay, good, good, good. So, see the hair? The ends look good. I'm going to flip it over. Let me touch up her pin curls. Okay, there we go. Mm. Why do I keep twisting the wrong way? The hair looks like it's in great condition because I shampooed it. With the clarifying shampoo, um, then I put conditioner and wig spray on it. But to be honest, um, it was still in pretty good condition. It was not bad condition when I got it. Let me take my camera out some so we can show it all. Now, you see where her hair was braided? It has those waves. I'm going to show you how to take those out. Now, you may need um, parental supervision for this. Probably should have said that, but hopefully you won't. So I'm going to gently lay her down here, and I'm going to get my flat iron. If you have loose hairs, take your brush, go like this in a circular motion, and it will grab up any of those little straight hairs that may have gotten on your bed or in your space. So the brush will pick them up and you just pull them out, see? Now I have a special flat iron I use. I'm looking at our eyes, making sure they're even. No, I'm not going to get rid of the original hairstyle, but I am going to take a flat iron with a low heat and make all of her other hair straight, keeping the pin curls, and I'm going to redo it. There you go, see, it's, it's not too difficult. As long as I know where I'll put my flat iron. And I thought I saw it over here somewhere. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Ow! I was quite certain I saw it over here. Ah, what is that? Mess.
What in the world? I got dolls jumping off of shelves. Barbie is having a fit. She wants to be played with. Okay, it's not clear. Then where is it? Oh my gosh, I've moved it again. You in the bathroom, Mama? I'm so tired of dolls falling. Okay, I'm going to take it to the bathroom. Okay, I can go get it. You heard it sound from him. Him who? Oh, my. Don't know what. Yeah. I need to get up. I'm still on live. I need to get up. Oh, God. You think he's coming? No. Get up his hands and Can I have his burger? Yeah. Go ahead. I don't need him to mess with it. It's chicken. Grilled chicken. Okay. Sorry, everyone, for that delay. This is the flat iron I use. It is Revlon. It's a small barrel. Oh, God, it's dusty. Okay, let me just put a little water on it real quick. And wipe it off with the towel. All right, Marie Grace, share this out with your new best friend. Oh my God, what did you miss? Trust me, the only thing you missed right now was me missing. <laughs> I was missing for about five minutes. Well, what you've missed is basically uh, Okay, it's on. I have it on low temperature setting. Um, I have it set on 230. It is a setting on 230. Um, I have been restoring doll hair. I'm going to let this set. So what I can do is fill you in. Um, I started out with my Truly Me number 79. I redid our hair. Um, I showed everyone how to do it. I sh also showed everyone how to make your own spray to use in your doll's hair. Now, with this water and conditioning mixture, you can use it on American Girl, Our Generation, Journey Girls, um, any 18-inch doll, and Barbie. So, any for including Rainbow High. So, this mixture of nice warm water and Pantene smoothing conditioner is good for all doll hair types. It's good for all dolls, okay? Doesn't matter what type of hair, and it will make their hair very, very smooth and delicious. Like this. So, but I, um, on dolls who wear wigs, like wig hair, um, I also did my mini-me. Yeah, we gave her one ponytail up here on the side. So this is my mini vert, my mini me. Oh look. Okay, yeah, we do like twins. This one just doesn't smile. She's anti-sociable. So the hair is nice and shiny and silky. Um, as for my Marie Gray doll right here, this one is original. This is her original wig. I've just done a shampoo. So we've shampooed and conditioned. Oh gosh, it's so fragrant. So we've shampooed it, conditioned it. As you can see, it's very silky. Um, 
I recommend the Revlon, this one, because it's, um, it's thin. It's a low heat flat iron. It's only 230. I put it on 230, 230, 230 degrees. That would be fine for an American girl doll wig of any kind. Of any American girl doll wig. Any American girl hair fiber. This would be a great way to make the doll's hair straight. And this is how you can do it. So what I'm going to do is set Marie Grace down right here. Okay, I'm going to wrap the towel around her like that. Okay, and I'm going to change my camera to focus on the doll. So, I'm going to turn her head over here to this side. And I'm going to get some hair that was braided. Now, what I'm going to end up doing is I am going to make this back into the original hair style. Okay, that's already nice and hot. Okay, that is the lowest temperature setting I can get. And it's going to be fine. Now, her hair is still damp, which is great because that will work out perfectly for her. Now, the best thing is about this particular flat iron is that it's made where it has ceramic. So it prevents burning and all of that kind of stuff. See, I even made the ends curl. The ends have a curl. So, I'm, like I said, I'm using a low temp Revlon flat iron. Let me use my tablet case to set that on. It's The setting is 230. Believe it or not, it's actually drying her hair. Well, I recommend one with a ceramic. I mean, like I said, this is not my first tutorial on this. I did this years ago before anyone else did. Seriously, the video is here on my YouTube channel. Okay, so there it is. That's how it looks. It's already dry. Oh my God, every time you watch with the one in... Anyway, what this flat iron does with the um, ceramic plates, look how smooth it does the ends. It makes it very smooth. So yeah, well this this Marie Grace, I, she's an eBay purchase. Okay, so I'm gonna get this hair up here. This hair has now been flat ironed, has some curl at the end. Um, I'm not giving her a new hairstyle. Basically, I sort of because she came with her hair loose. I just want to refresh it to what it was. But see, I seen Caroline with straight hair. And for me, I liked Caroline's hair with curls. I love Caroline's hair with curls. They just need to be thicker. She just needs more hair in her head. It's kind of like if you have two Carolines. And you have one Caroline... Um, and you're going to just put a new wig on, right? Well, then you can take her wig, cut some of the wefts out of her hair, and blend it into the other doll's wig. Sew it in. Hand sew it in and make it work.
Another good way to do this is to steam it. Helen of Tory. For one dollar at a thrift store? Oh my god. Girl, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. I'm not going to put... Um, I, 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 I'm not going to put something... I'm just funny about that. I, I'm sorry. I can't put something from a thrift store like that. I, I wouldn't even buy a flat iron from a thrift store and use it. I'm just more, I'm just picky. I'm sorry. I have to have it brand new. Ooh, that's hot. So see how slick that is? And the ends have nice curls. See? I'm going to brush it now. Oh my gosh, that feels great. Oh yeah, totally. So during a time like this, this is the perfect time to take a doll and just have some hair fun and do this. Oh, it took a, it was a job. I did not expect myself having to end up washing this doll's hair, but I had to use two there. I did use shampoo. I used a clarifying, a cheap, um, suave clarifying shampoo. Um, that got rid of any hair residue or what have you. Got our hair nice and clean. So it can be fresh and new. Okay. My flat iron is having a problem staying on its back. Please know if you're under age, do not do this at home. Because my um, Marie Grace's hair, it, uh, it's pretty wet. It's damp just from the towel. Can't wait to see the end result. Okay, throw it over to the side. So this is rounded, so it's made to be that way. Okay, let me see what was that. Yeah, you can curl it. I just curled her ends, see? All of her ends are curled from the flat iron. But you just simply just curl under, you just curl it under. Like I'm doing, like what I, you can see me doing it.
Okay, I'm at the middle back. Wow, look at all those short hairs. I just don't get that. Why do they do that at the plant? It's like somebody got a hold of her head and just cut gaps in the back of it. That looks so terrible. All right. But see the front of the doll's hair always up here at the top in the front. They make it look nice and thick. But when you get to the back of the doll, you see all these little short hairs like that. Oh, I hate it. It's just, it's just tacky. Okay, now I'm going to turn her head to the side. Now you can see the hair that I've already worked on. See, it's beautiful and shiny. Curls at the ends. Again, um, I didn't just cleanse her hair, I also added um, the type of conditioning spray, but also a wig spray. So you see her ends with curls at the ends. Oh no, the hair on VIE dolls is nothing like this. The, the VIE dolls, they have the high quality nylon hair. Um, no, and it's rooted. You know, they don't wear wigs. That is something that Ellen is a no-no. She refuses to have the dolls wigged. That will never happen. She said that will never happen on a VAE doll because the dolls are meant to have their hair washed, played with, and styled, and enjoyed. So, yeah. Needs to come in. For boiler perms, easy. You just boil perm the doll's hair and... Let the curls set. Let them set overnight and take them out in the next day and it'll be fine. Hi. Oh my gosh, I can't spell that. Simply girly, I think. But with different alphabet. Okay. One good thing, at least this is coming along quickly. Okay. Oh, Evelyn. Evelyn, how many times you could change your name, sweetheart? I like I like your pink piggy. I miss pink piggy. It really stuck with me for some reason. I don't know why, but it did. And I really miss it. Marie Grace's hair is such a beautiful color.
Yes, well, the thing is about the dolls by Ellen, um, you know, her dolls are very limited edition. The dolls are basically 300 dolls worldwide. That's it. So regardless, you're getting a high quality doll for the same price you would pay for an American Girl doll, basically. The only difference is you're getting a doll with rooted hair. But the thing is, you can't compare one of those dolls to American Girl. And I say that because American Girl, um, it's a wig. She has a wig. She can, um, also, you know, she's made differently. Her body is made of soft, huggable fabric. Um, different type of coloring of eyes and hair, things like that. So, Oh, another thing is, too, between them, American Girl dolls, see? American Girl, you can do other things with this type of hair. But the American Girl hair, the wig fiber, it's real wig fiber. So you can actually apply heat to it. And if you don't like the wig or your doll's wig gets cut or something, thank goodness there are a lot of places on social media, on the internet, and you can buy a wig to replace it. All right, almost done with this. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Look at her hair. Isn't that gorgeous? done. Uh, look, you heard mom. Yeah, you heard my mom fussing at Dixie. Yeah, she's fussing at Dixie. Okay, almost done. This is the last piece. I re um I restored her original pin curls that hung down like curl drops, like teardrop curls. Oh, Dixie is definitely getting into stuff. Oh, that was hot. Oh, I hear Dixie running upstairs. But no, I think I got this doll nude off of eBay. And one good thing about the flat iron, um, there we go. It removes all the frizzies. 
So if the doll has any kind of frizz in her hair, it does flatten it out and make it smooth. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Marie Grace's hair. See the difference? It does just like the hair that I put. Oh my gosh. And it smells so good. So, oh, oh, oh. What I'm going to do now is cut this off. Yeah, cut that off. I need to unplug it. Make sure anytime you've used an electrical appliance, you unplug it. All right. Turn the camera up some. Okay. So here is Marie Grace. Um, as you can see, her curls, her original curls are very beautiful and hanging like they're supposed to originally on both sides. There, see? So the top of the hair, it's all nice and smooth and straight. There's no braid. I'm not going to do a braid. I am going to give her a similar hairstyle to her original. But I'm, um, oh, wow, isn't that pretty? Mmm, beautiful shampooing. Nice, silky, soft. It's still a little damp, but that's okay. I'm going to let it air dry by itself. Oh, my gosh, it smells so good. So now what I'm going to do is I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, let me think, let me think. Um, I'm going to take the hair right here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to braid it. I don't want to put any waves or anything. Oh, this is not my first video. I have so many other videos from years ago. I had this years ago. So I'm gently twisting the hair. And I'm pulling it back like this. See that? A nice bit twist band. It's going to come in the back. Um, let me brush this out right. Find the very center of the back of her head. Right there. Because I'm going to do this on both sides. I don't want her hair braided to create that crinkle look. I'm going to take Goody Elastic. So for those of you who have Marie Grace and you bought her on the secondary market, this is a nice way to restore her hair and to make it new again and beautiful. Let me fix her little tendrils. There. See, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, it feels so nice and silky. Beautiful. Don't worry, I'm going to do a close-up. <clears throat> it's going to take a moment, but I am. Okay, there. See her hair? 
nice and smooth on the side. In the back. And on this side as well. Oh, thank you all for the compliment. Wait, what is that sticking up? Oh, it's part of the hair from her tendrils. Well, hopefully that'll lay down eventually. But in the meantime, yeah, that looks really nice. I'm happy with the outcome. Nice color, a slight curl at the end. It's all layered. And this is her natural hair. <clears throat> this isn't like um, hair that I put on another doll or anything. But this is her um, natural wig. And it has been completely cleansed. This doll has not been made over or nothing like that at all. There's no repaint. There's no paint on her. I've done nothing else to her whatsoever. Hi, Anisha. I just restored her. I've been on live for an hour and 27 minutes. So, we did a light flat iron, just to give you a look, look at her hair. You can see all those highlights. So yeah, I didn't want to put a break because I didn't want the waviness. I didn't want all that wave. So that's why I didn't do a highlight. So, that is how you restore an original American Girl doll wig for your doll, but also to remove curls or anything. You can make any doll's hair straight and add a simple curl at the end. And then to, it'll look cute, put back in a ponytail like this is also. I say that because to keep your doll's hair from messing up like this, I mean, you know, let's say you want this doll and you want to have it for display, hair play or anything like that. Um, instead, do a slight twist on each side, pull it back in the ponytail, then very easily, gently, I mean, grab her another elastic and put her hair in a ponytail, be around shoulder length. And you're only going to double it twice. So, you only do it two times, that's it, and let it hang like that. So yeah, Marie Grace doll's hair looks like this. Beautiful shades of caramel. Caramel and light brown. And then it just, you know, now you can play with her, redress her, restyle her hair. Or you can restyle it. But choose a hairstyle like this where it's not a lot of work. Her hair's not going to get damaged. And you can redress her. And I don't know, I like her dress in period clothes. What I mean by period clothes it's clothes that are similar to Caroline's or her own outfits that look like, or like Felicity's outfits. Older style clothes. Shows us good and it's so silky smooth. This is the color I wanted for my hair. Oh, see, it would have been great, but it didn't work out. So you see, I don't make over all my dolls. As you, I've shown you plenty of them. I, I don't repaint at all, but I leave them as they are. Felicity is a pretty name, isn't it, though? Quite rare. But American Girl did bring her back, and they gave everyone the opportunity to purchase her again. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a hair tutorial. One that I hadn't done in a long time on American Girl. So I hope you got to enjoy it. And I hope you get to take advantage of it. And, you know, be careful with the flat iron. Please, if you're underage, ask, ask, ask a parent or legal guardian or older sister or someone to help you out with that, okay? By following this tutorial. Because I gave you a hair shampoo tutorial. All everything from hair styling, you see. You see that nice sheen? Now, this is the wig spray I use. Um, I buy it at the beauty supply store for only $1.99 for the little one. This little one will last you a very long time. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Amber. Thank you for commenting on the video in a positive way. So, thank you. But this is a very good 
wig spray for you to use on all of your American Girl dolls. Dolls that wear wigs. Not dolls that have rooted hair, okay? Like Barbie, um, Our Generation, Journey, all of those dolls, Rainbow High. Don't use the wig spray on their hair. This is meant for um, wig fiber, okay? It's only meant for this type of hair fiber because this is made of real wig fiber. That's why you only use it on that. And as I showed you in the video, a little bit goes a very long way. So if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up a lot. Good night, David. I'm calling it a good night too. So I want to say good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for watching and staying with me all this time with the video. If you enjoyed this video, if it's able to help you, give you ideas of your own, please give it a thumbs up. Let's give Marie Grace a warm helping hand and say thank you. Thank you to American Girl. Thank you for supplying such beautiful quality dolls for us to have fun with, to play with, to love and enjoy and to do videos here on YouTube um, for other people and to help them enjoy secondhand American Girl dolls. So, yeah, absolutely. So, thank you, everyone. Good night, and I will see y'all probably maybe tomorrow night for Christmas or Christmas Day because I have to be able to wish you a Merry Christmas on Christmas. Completely so. Thank you all. May love and peace be with you always. Bye.